Erin, I think, has the answer. I think a lot of folks certainly would be happy if we could get a little bit more sunshine after dealing with clouds and waves of rain over the weekend. We could certainly use a break from the moisture, but that's just not in the cards for today. We have dark clouds looming over downtown Kansas City. Let me show you the very latest happening right now near Union Station, the Liberty Memorial, with those clouds holding strong for the time being. If there is some good news for this Monday, yeah, let's start off with that. We do have drier conditions for your morning commute. So I really think many of us are going to get out the door with those drier skies, but by the time you're heading back home later today, better chances you're going to be dodging that rain. We have 71 degrees right now here in the city. Our winds coming out of the southwest at 11 miles an hour, and that dew point, it is higher this morning. The dew point's a measure of how much moisture we have in the atmosphere, and once it gets into the upper 60s, it starts to feel very tropical and very muggy. That's exactly where we're sitting to begin this new work week. Now, temperatures across our area, we're in the 70s right now. They really aren't going to climb too much, and that because we'll see a lot of cloud cover for today, and those chances of rain becoming more widespread by later this afternoon. Many of us only climbing by about 10 for today, with 82 for high in Sedalia, 80 for Chillicothe, lower 80s here in Kansas City. Same story for Belton, and right there along I-70 west of Kansas City and Lawrence, you'll see a high of 82 degrees by later this afternoon. Now for the moment, first alert radar. It's mostly quiet across our 44 counties, but you can see certainly looking unsettled around our area out to the west, to the northwest, and due north in Iowa. Showers there as well. And I do think we're going to see increasing chances of moisture kind of pulling together across our area as we're moving towards this afternoon. In between now and then, this is the moisture I've been watching all morning long. Garnett, Ottawa, now a quick moving shower just to the south of Paola. And I will be watching out for these quick moving areas of rain. I don't think they're going to be constant or long lasting if you run into a few this morning for your morning commute. But I do think we'll see better chances of more organization with some of this moisture by later today. And with weather team coverage, Neville has more on that hour by hour, city by city through this afternoon. That's right, Erin. As you mentioned, pretty spotty this morning. Better chances coming in later on today. Now, let me show you what's going on here with Future Scan. So, as we go from the morning here between now and lunchtime, spotty showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, the better chance of seeing rain and storms, that's going to come in later on today. So, now we're going from lunchtime through the afternoon. You see how more of those showers and storms begin to show up. This is 6 p.m., so we may have a wet evening commute. So just keep that in the back of your mind here for later on for the afternoon. Through the evening, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Here's midnight. We're going to head into your Tuesday morning. We'll begin to see those showers and storms pushing to the south as a front starts drifting through the region. Then for tomorrow, I think we still do have chances of seeing some showers, possibly some thunderstorms, but the best chances are going to be, I'd say, for areas along and south of I 70 on your Tuesday. And speaking of which, we have a sporting KC game tomorrow, 7 30, taking on St. Louis FC. First half, about 77 degrees. We are still going to keep those clouds around, maybe a few showers for the game, but I think in general, though, we are going to see some drier weather. Second half, 74 degrees. We've got more rain chances, though, to go, go through as we go through the rest of the week. Aaron has more on that. Absolutely, Neville. And we've got Sporting Kansas City on Tuesday. And I know so many of you happy to welcome our Royals back home by Wednesday night. And as you're heading off towards that next game, the next series here in Kansas City, I'd bring the rain gear just in case as we're heading towards midweek. We've got a good opportunity of rain from now through Wednesday. Notice if you want to find a drier patch right now, the better chances look to be Thursday and Friday. But I'll give you an early heads up, something that Neville and I have been talking about this morning. We're watching the Gulf Coast. We've got a tropical system that will move its way inland and some models indicating that that moisture may very well pull into Missouri and even into Kansas as we're heading towards Thursday and Friday. So it's something we'll keep a close eye on. Right now it's dry, but uh, we'll certainly be uh, watching that closely for you. We'll see temperatures climbing uphill. Man, climbing to near 90 degrees for our new weekend ahead with isolated storms for next weekend as well. Donna, over to you.